All right, today I've got a weird one for you. Here I've got a light switch, typical flat face square switch that you can get for switching your lights on and off. You can see I've got an extra wire coming out of it though. This isn't my doing. My friend Brandon has uh, modified it a little bit. And he didn't want to do the circuitry to control it, so I did it. You can see here we've got a lot of circuitry going on here. It even has its own daughter board. Of course, I haven't really let on what it's going to do, but you can probably guess. Over here is another switch. This one controls the board, and the board drives this. What this allows you to do is remotely toggle an ordinary light switch using this controller. Using a momentary button, I can flip it on and off. Now uh, you can see that the lights inside the push button switch are changing color and lighting back up. This is to indicate the status of the switch we've just switched and you notice there's a little time delay there. The reason for that is because this circuit is charging a big capacitor using a flyback controller. It takes a finite amount of time to charge the capacitor because I was limited to a certain amount of input power so these lights are timed to come on when the capacitor has got enough charge to toggle this switch. Now this has a particularly inefficient design. It's just got a coil and a magnet, no pull piece, so it needs a lot of current. I've got a 6800 microfarad capacitor and 55 volts here just to switch the damn thing. It's excessive, but it's really cool.